Bienvenidos. Welcome. My name is Robert Naranjo. The following is based on historical fact. In the mid-1600s, about 400 years ago, General Don Diego de Trujillo, who, after years of service to the Spanish crown, was awarded a land grant on the east side of the Rio Grande in and around the area now known as Old Town. But in 1680, after the Pueblo Revolt, all the Spanish settlers fled into exile for about 13 years. Our story begins in 1706. Catalina is a ghost whose spirit cannot rest because her family, the Don Diego de Trujillo family, has not returned to claim their land. This is my land. All of this land rightfully belongs to me, to my family. Who is this man who has taken my land? Who is Don Francisco Cuervo Valdez? What right does he have to establish a villa on my land? The King of Spain rewarded my husband, Diego de Trujillo, General del Rio Abajo, this land for all his years of service to the crown. I bore my children on this land. I buried my children on this land. My son Francisco made this bosque bloom. We built the acequias. We coaxed the water from the river onto the land to quench the thirst of each stalk of corn, each blade of wheat. And the winds, the winds, how they blew. They brought the sand off the mesas, piling it high on each seedling. The wind and the dust attempted to choke the life from each frail seedling. But we conquered the land and the wind and the dust. We built our home. We raised our children. We fed our goats, sheep, and horses. This would be our children's homeland. El Bosque Grande de San Francisco Javier. What a glorious name for the Cottonwood Bosque. My husband left me this land, which he named after his patron saint. I, in turn, left it to my son, Francisco, who, like the bosque, is named after San Francisco Javier. After my death, Francisco was driven from this land, but he always intended to return. The land was never abandoned. Everyone was forced to flee. Now, the governor is calling my land the land of Catalina Vasquez and Diego de Trujillo, La Via de Albuquerque, and settling strangers on my land. I will never rest. How can I rest? My soul will follow the wind 
until the land is ours again. We are now in the office of Don Francisco Cuervo y Valdez, governor of New Mexico, and he is a proud man because he has just completed the necessary paperwork to establish a via or town which will be known as Albuquerque. The problem is that it is on land which belongs to the Trujillo family. He has summoned Capitan Hurtado to the palace in Santa Fe where he names him Comandante and the first mayor of Albuquerque. He sends Capitan Hurtado to Bernalillo, where families are waiting to move to the new Villa de Albuquerque. Let's listen as plans are made for the new Villa. I certify to the King, our Lord, and His Most Excellent Senor Viceroy, that I, Don Francisco Cuervo Valdez, have founded a Villa on the banks and in the valley of the Rio del Norte, in a good place as regards land, water, pasture, and firewood. I gave it a patron titular saint, the glorious apostle of the Indies, San Francisco Javier, and called and named it La Villa de Albuquerque. I must tell the king and the viceroy that 35 families, 252 adults and children have taken residence in the town. Their homes are built, the livestock are in the corrales, the crops are in the fields, the irrigation ditches are open and running. Spacious church is ready. A house for the priest is under construction. A start has been made on the government buildings. I must stress to the king and the viceroy that the letter of the law has been followed as set forth in the royal laws. And all of this has been done at no expense to the royal treasury. Governador, you have sent for me. Capitan Hurtado. How was your trip to Santa Fe? <laughs> Gratefully, it was uneventful. Gracias a Dios. Capitan, I have just completed a very important task. I have here the final paperwork for La Villa de Albuquerque, which will be located in the Rio Bajo in the land known as San Francisco Javier. Lo conozco. I know the land well. Congratulations, Governador. I knew how hard you've worked on this project. However, I did not know that the Villa would be named after the Viceroy of New Spain, Don Francisco de la Cueva, Duque de Albuquerque. You've made an excellent choice. I've heard the uh, Viceroy is an outstanding individual. My friend, El Duque de Albuquerque, deserves this honor. He has certainly served the crown well. <laughs> What a coincidence that you, El Duque y La Villa, we all share the same name, Francisco. <laughs> no, the name Francisco has nothing to do with me. And don't you forget it. Long before this land was designated for the new Villa, it had been dedicated to San Francisco Javier. An excellent choice because San Francisco is much loved. And for your information, the king of Spain had wanted a new via for years, but my predecessors, for one reason or another, had never made it a priority in their administration. But now, it will be a reality. And uh, you will not only serve as capitan, but also as mayor. <laughs> I'm honored that you have placed so much trust in me. I will not disappoint you. Capitan, you will go directly to Bernalillo, and there you will find several families who are eager to return to their ancestral lands. Their ancestors were forced to abandon their land holdings during the Pueblo Revolt in 1680. Some of these ranches were destroyed. However, 
we have convinced these families that it is time to return and rebuild their homes and their ranchos. The families that would like to accompany you are those of um, this, uh, Cristobal Jaramillo, Juan Parella, Francisco Candelaria, Nicolás Lucero, Baltasar Romero, Joaquín Cedillo, Antonio Gutierrez, Cristóbal Parela, Pedro López y Castillo. Other families would like to join them and make their homes in New Villa. With the families already established in the valley, we will have 35 families, five more than are necessary to establish in New Villa, according to the laws of the Indies. And I have abided by these laws. <laughs> you have done an excellent job, Governador, as usual. With your permission, I'll be ready to leave Santa Fe in la mañana. Y dentro de una semana, I should be ready to leave Bernalillo for Albuquerque. I do have a question, Governador. How many soldados will be assigned to the Via de Albuquerque? Uh, eight. You, of course, will be the Comandante. Uh, let's see, Juan de Pineda will serve as your secretary. You may also take uh, Francisco Garcia, Pedro Durani Chavez, Andres de Montoya, take uh, Sebastián de Canseco, <laughs> Antonio de Silva, Jose de Sadas, Tomás Garcia, and Javier de Benavides. As soon as you arrive, build a presidio near the plaza. We will communicate as the need arises. I am ready to take my leave. Con su permiso, me despido. A blessing. Bendito de Dios, God be with you. Catalina, the ghost, cannot rest in peace until she knows what has happened to her children and her grandchildren. Catalina appears as voices ask her to leave. In the distance, she can hear the sound of horses' hooves bringing strangers to settle on the land which rightfully belongs to her. If you listen carefully, you can almost hear them. I can hear the hooves of the horses. They are getting closer. They have no right to come here. This is our land. Where is my family? Where have they gone? They should be here defending their ancestral lands. Can you hear the pounding hooves of the horses? They are bringing the thieves who will lay claim to my lands. How can they take what is mine? My husband gave his youth, his strength, his loyalty to the crown. Now, Governor Francisco Cuervi Valdez has laid claim to what is not his. This villa cannot proceed on my land. Where is my son? Francisco, mi hijo, donde estas? Francisco, my son, where have you gone? Carina, Carina, why are you here? You no longer belong. Carina, Carina, ya no te dejes a mí. 
And now we will meet the joyful and happy settlers from up and down the river valley who have come to greet Capitan Hurtado and the soldiers who have been assigned to the new Via de Alburquerque. There is much excitement and anticipation, not only because they've been named the new Via, but because there will finally be protection from the marauding Indians. To everyone's surprise, a granddaughter of General de Trujillo and the ghost of Catalina Trujillo appears. Catalina, the ghost, can now rest in peace. Her family is home. Let's join the celebration, shall we? Vecina, hola. Señora Domínguez de Mendoza, ¿cómo se pasa el tiempo? ¿Cómo han estado? Qué, bien, gracias. Qué gran día. What a wonderful day for us all. We are finally going to become a VIA. And the best thing of all is that we will have protection at last. You're right, Cristóbal. I'm sure that now the troops have been assigned to us, the raids will come to an end. Senor Baca yes. speaks the truth, but I am more excited that we will now have a church. Our children will be able to be baptized when they're toddlers, and our dead will be buried with dignity. God will bless our new Via. Buenas tardes. Porque el diablo que es esto también. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. I don't think you remember me. I was only 10 when my family left during the Pueblo Revolt. I'm Luisa de Trujillo, daughter of Francisco de Trujillo, and granddaughter of Pinedal Diego, and Catalina de Trujillo. Luisa, I remember your family very well. Senora Dominguez? Si. I didn't think any of your family would ever return. Yes, most of my family is dead. But I really wanted to return. This is the land of my childhood, and I have good memories of my childhood. Si. And I want the same for my children. Fatavia Grande de Alburquerque is what used to be the Bosque Grande de San Francisco Javier, your ancestral land. Es verdad, señor. Very true. At first, I was concerned about our land, but one thing that is very plentiful here is land. I have been well compensated for the loss of the Bosque Grande, and I am so proud that the land which belonged to my grandfather will soon be a glorious via. My grandfather devoted his life to the service of the Spanish crown. He rose to the rank of general, and I feel certain that he would be proud to have a villa built on his land. Besides, I cannot think of a more fitting tribute to my grandfather, General Diego de Trujillo, a man who served his country so well. You are a very wise woman, Senora de Trujillo. Not only would your grandfather be proud of you, but all of your family. Gracias, señor. I am sure I have made the right decision. Yes, you have made the right decision.